but the entire solar system, as you can see, lives with this dynamic star. Corona is the region where space weather is born and conditions are set for a supersonic solar wind and a super hot corona, two of our outstanding questions in heliophysics, in physics, really. To understand the corona better, NASA is actually going to be launching a mission next year, almost a year from now, how coincidental, called Parker Solar Probe. It is actually going to go touch the sun, you know, and it's going to get closer to any other spacecraft has gone before to the sun to study the corona, to actually sample the very corona that we will be seeing very soon. Yes, we will. It's almost here. Thank you. Thank you, Lika, for joining Pleasure. us. And thank you for sharing that. So now we're going to take it back to NASA Eclipse Central in Charleston. Take it away, Dwayne. Okay, now, just now coming in, we have an exclusive sneak Whoa! peek of the total solar eclipse, and it is arriving at the United States. It's over the Pacific Ocean and about to reach Oregon. This is the celestial event that we've all been waiting and anticipating for years. We'll begin looking through the eyes of NASA out the window of our G3 aircraft. Let's take in the view. Wow. And now we're looking at the first glimpse of the total eclipse from the ground. Wait, let's see, that's still the G3, there we go. And now we're looking at the first glimpse of the total eclipse from the ground on United States soil. This is coming to us from Salem, Oregon, where thousands of people are gathered, get, gathered and experiencing this monumental event, a total solar eclipse. Let's take a look and take in the view. That's the G3 there. Is that the real thing? Is that the real? We're going to keep that up and then we're going to do reactions. 